How Good are you, man? You. I sent you guys away to shake everything up. Tell me about it. We looked at everything we were doing and just threw everything out the window. I'm more confident that I have sway over her to keep her distracted. Josh is convinced if a fight breaks up, he's gonna be able to man up and stop it. I'm not so confident it will go that easily. Let's say it doesn't work that way. Are you out the door? I'm fully committed to staying in control and not letting my nerves get the better of me. I'm really just wanting to dig into your homework. Let's watch it. <laughs> All right, Sadie's secure. Time to get Jess Bell. It's okay, there's no Sadie in here. Look, pretty interesting in here. Somebody's just chill in here, huh? That ain't shabby. See, you're gonna have access to this room all night. Isn't that gonna be exciting? I think, based on what I'm seeing from Jess Bell, that she's demonstrating enough confidence to stand up to Sadie. That's fantastic. Um, you know what? I want to go check out your catification. Let's go on over here. This looks fantastic. I really love the fact that Grace and Josh used Square Cat Habitat shelving system for this room because it looks good and it works well. They really showed me that they're serious about this. Look at you. Look at how completely at peace she is. The last time I was here, I saw great progress from Josh. He was redirecting Sadie away from Jess Bell. But this time around, because Sadie is so comfortable up high on these new shelves, I'm gonna have Jess come in on ground level with Sadie watching her from above. Now that puts both of these cats in the same room without a barrier in between them except for Josh. Now this is high risk, high reward for everybody because if it works, it's a huge breakthrough. And if it doesn't, we are back to square one. All right. I am not ready for Jess and Sadie to come face to face. I'm really worried about how it's gonna go down. If there is a cat fight right now, it's not the best outcome, but we gotta find out where we stand. Worst case scenario, Jess and Sadie attack each other and I get in there and stop that fight right away. That's how confident I'm feeling. So now, here we go. Grace, just carry Jess in and we're going to put her right around here. Now, what you can do is head on over to her. You can go and talk to her or whatever. In the meantime, oh, what do we got? What is this? It's your favorite, Jess. What is it? Now, I like the fact that she's hanging out. <laughs> Worst case scenario, Sadie turns into a sadist, bolts down, and she completely goes to town on Jess and beats her up, and Josh is gone. And this ends in a bloody, hairy mess. Now, Josh treats, treats, good, good going. Josh, lead her up. Uh-oh. Josh. Sadie, be calm. Oh, we got a fight going on. No, 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 no. Fight's over. Well, that did that. Wait, wait, wait. Josh. Yes. Pick up your cat. All right. She goes into your bedroom. Okay. I got information about Sadie from this, that when she sees Jess, she's not trying to intimidate her, she's not trying to walk her down, and she's not stalking her. She wants to kill her. What happened, baby? What happened? It's okay. It's okay, guys. Come here. I learned a lot about the humans in this process as well. Josh froze solid. Well, clearly that experiment didn't work. Epic fail, especially by Josh. We have to at this point say that's the last time that happens because she can't take it anymore. Jess has been knocked down a peg again and we have got to get her back on the horse tonight and build her back up. For homework, we have to really work on her and it's about working on her confidence. We have to get Jess more secure in a larger territory because simply confident cats are less likely to be seen as prey and get attacked. One of the biggest things that I heard today was that if Grace is not home, she does not come out and that can't continue. This time around with homework, Embrace the idea of what I call base camp expansion. So that is all the good stuff that smells like her and smells like you that's in your room. Start bringing it out. I want her to feel like she's got a home in every room of the house. I want you guys to create a safe enough environment for her that when you open that door, she's out. Next piece of homework is I want them to do an introductory feeding exercise at a closed door. This way the cats get to introduce themselves through scent and reintroduce themselves in a non-threatening way.
But of course, the most important part of homework is when I walk out this door, you guys lift each other up. I know it's hard. We saw what happens, sometimes you have miracles and sometimes you get sent crashing back down to earth. The good side is I'm not sensing any injuries on her part, but please trust me, we can do this. You guys gotta support each other right now. I gave you guys a ton of homework and let's just get right to it. Little cat high where we're building at her level so she gets a little more comfortable mm. knowing that mm. this space is her own. Good progress. And now we're gonna try feeding them on either side of the door. See if Sadie's more interested in that than in attacking Jess. Okay, now she's done and she's looking at the door. Uh-oh, okay. look at that tail. And then there's that. All right, base camp expansion seemed to have worked. That said, I'm not seeing what I want out of Sadie. Yeah. At all. Yeah. And after all this work, that's really troubling. It's knowing that these two cats may never be able to share an open space. Grace, do you basically take Jess and move out? Um, this is extremely difficult. We've just, we've come so far with Jess and I feel like she's such a happier, braver cat than when we started this process. So I, I wanna keep trying with her. Okay, so that takes us to a new place. If there was one other thing that concerned me besides the fight, the last time I was here, was that I had to step in. You, Josh, I felt like you froze. That fight was a wake-up call for us. We talked about everything that went wrong, how we can avoid it next time. We're feeling confident that we have the tools we need to break it up on our own. So the last thing left for me to do with you guys is to put you in a situation with the cats where we can find out if you can handle whatever comes your way. I really wanna see where they're at. Okay, so. Where are the cats right now? Sadie is in my room right now and Jess is out here in the room. Oh, good. Jess is out here. I like that. I couldn't be happier. We have a different cat than who I started with. She used to hide when she was low down to the ground, but now she's up in that cat tree 100% mojo-fied. Let's make this happen. Awesome. Right. Come on. What I need to see in order to walk away from here today is that these two cats can coexist in this house with no bloodshed and that Josh and Grace know how to own the situation. All right, let's go and start leading Sadie in. So here's the game plan. Josh is going to lead Sadie into the room. It's about Josh's ability to take control of Sadie. It's about Grace's ability not to hover over Jess when bad things are happening. These cats are gonna be in the same room with nothing standing in between the middle of them. The last thing I wanna happen is a repeat of last time. There you go. Yeah. Last time I froze up. This time I plan to redeem myself. I got a treat. You want it? It's gonna be right there. Good girl. Good. All right. Ooh, what about this, the toy? <gasps> Josh, get in front of her. Yep. Uh-uh. Sadie. Hey, uh-uh. What about hey. this, the toy? <gasps> Josh, get in front of her. Yep. Uh-uh. Sadie. Hey, uh-uh. Hey, hey, Sadie. All right. Josh, move her that way. Go, 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 go. Why don't we try a treat? Yeah. Here. Oh, Josh, girl. look at you go, man. All right. Josh handles the business. He was the guy who, when there's any conflict, he's out of here. Now he is guiding Sadie. He's got full control over the situation. I'm proud of him. How are we doing here? Yes, we're doing pretty good. She doesn't feel as like paralyzed okay, as she good. has in the past. Come on, Sadie. Yeah, good girl. At this moment, all the homework we did, all the training we did, it's finally paying off.